It's 5.45 p.m., which means it's time for BCTV's Nightly News Roundup. I'm Roland Boyden. Tuck this away. And this is 5.45 Live uh, on deck tonight. We've got uh, a, a jam-packed show, to say the least. But let's get the let's let the animation do the talking here. There we go. Um, we're going to start with uh, the Frankenstorm, the storm that's coming in on Monday. Plenty of information on how to stay safe. It's election season. That'll include Leland and Gray's latest debate. Bernie Sanders uh, hosted his dinner with Bernie, annual dinner with Bernie. Uh, and plenty more, including all the latest on the skate park meeting in HD as well. So make sure you stick with us. Uh, we will do our best to keep you entertained all the way up until the 6 o'clock news. We might even be able to do it in a little bit less than uh, 15 minutes. Get you out to enjoy the weekend, all that and more. Stick with us. Okay, yes, sir. Uh, I was just wondering if the overall square footage of the new design is reduced from the original. Is it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's getting around, uh, I think, around eight, eight and a half thousand, you know, square feet. Brattleboro Area Skate Park is coming. Designer Mac McIntyre, Mac McIntyre, Mike McIntyre, uh, talking at uh, the uh, site visit held at the Kroll lot yesterday uh, in prep for a, uh, a regular skate park design meeting held at the Senior Center. There's another one two weeks from last night at that very Senior Center, 6 p.m. as well. All right, uh, we got plenty to talk about, but first you may saw him talking about reducing the skate park from all the way down from 12,000 feet to 12,000 square feet to close to, to 8,000 square feet, um, a move that has both uh, recite skate park supporters and uh, supporters of the original basic Brattleboro Area Skate Park is coming, uh, excited on both sides the, of the, uh, the party lines there. All right, let's see the footage from that uh, site visit yesterday shot by content specialist Maria Dominguez. For this meeting, I didn't want to come in with a lot of preconceived visualization until I got more feedback, but I'm willing to come back. We could set another meeting. If we're going to shoot something down, let's take a closer look at what we're, what we're shooting down or embracing, you know, but I want to make sure that I go through a cohesive process to get more ideas, more ideas. Maybe it's the best idea in the world, maybe it's the worst idea or whatever, but it's not going to be an idea unless I get everybody's, you know, feedback uh, for this. Moving on, uh, the storm that's coming on Monday has been dubbed Frankenstorm. Some have even uh, gone so far as to call it the perfect storm. It's uh, a nor'easter mixed with a hurricane, uh, which means that we could get hurricane-like storm uh, features um, while uh, eluding the cold water that normally uh, prevents this area from getting into hurricane season. We sat down earlier uh, as part of a 545 Live special with town manager Barb Sondag and Brattleboro Fire Chief Mike Bacasi to talk about how to stay safe and smart uh, during this coming storm. We're going to have some impact from the storm. We are not just not sure how, what or how much. Um, this is a different storm from Irene. I know Irene's still very much on the top of everyone's minds. It's, this is a different, different than that. Um, we, they, we are anticipating um, more wind, um, higher gusts. We're anticipating, you know, there'll, there'll be rain. We're not sure how much. On Fire Chief Mike Bacasi's mind was staying safe uh, while keeping your house warm and lit uh, during a power outage. One of the things that um, we truly want to caution and remind people, have flashlights and lanterns, don't rely on candles. Um, it becomes a safety issue. Um, we don't want anybody to needlessly get hurt um, in this storm. You can find that right now. Right now. There we go. You can find uh, that video right now on our Facebook page in HD and in standard definition, uh, regardless of the resolution you choose to watch it at. Um, there's a lot of really good information there, and uh, they tell you how to get more information. We'll try and keep you updated as best we can on our Facebook page as well. Head to brattlebrotv.org uh, to find out more about that, or brattlebro.org for all the latest updates from the town. That's their official website. Not to confuse the two. Brattlebro.org, everything from the town. Brattlebrotv.org, everything related to, to uh, TV in this town of ours. All right, uh, moving on, we got to talk elections. Let's see if we can jump into the newsroom for this. It would just be so much better in the newsroom. There we go, elections 2012. I want to get started with my graphic that I'm very excited for. Let's take a look. All right, well, we'll start with Senator 
Bernie Sanders, Vermont's uh, tenured independent senator, he was out hosting um, his annual dinner with Bernie, and that's where we'll start our uh, election coverage. The discussion we're going to have tonight, you're not going to hear from any other member of the United States Senate. I'm going to tell you things that you don't see on TV, uh, that you're not going to hear on the floor of the Senate or the House. So let's get to work here. There's Bernie's teaser for uh, his annual um, Dinner with Bernie event that was hosted in Putney on the 19th, and it'll show on BCTV in its entirety uh, all next week. So again, you can head to brettelrotv.org and find out when that's going to show, um, find out about all the things that he talks about that no other politician would talk about. And we'll keep the election 2012 candidate crazy uh, box over my shoulder here as we go on and talk about more candidates. Students from Leland and Gray Union High School hosted and moderated their own debate with a mix of uh, hopefuls in different races, different parties, um, uh, different uh, Democrats, Republicans. They really had a, a good mix there, and they were in a tight ship with tactics like uh, holding up a green card to let a candidate know they could start their two-minute run to answer a question, a yellow card when they had only 30 seconds left, and a, uh, a red card when it was time to stop. Now, uh, of course, I'm showing you the visual as best I can here, but it's worth checking out the video. In the meantime, here's uh, our special of that video. All right. Okay. Let's begin. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Leland and Gray's Political Forum. Please, when you ask a question, please make sure it's, in, it's relevant to that topic. No unnecessary questions like what's your favorite color and if you're married or so on and so forth. The growth and future of Vermont is not a partisan issue, it's an issue of how we do the best by our people. This is the symbol of Liberty Union, the um, turtle that probably won't get elected, but is there with his unicorn horn, is prodding elephant dunk. Both parties have come up with some pretty ludicrous stuff, but I do want to say you should be quite pleased. The legislature in the state of Vermont does all that it can to represent all the people of the state of Vermont, regardless of party. And with that, we'll jump into the topic that anybody in media and uh, anybody in the political stratosphere, the message to get out, which is vote. Doesn't matter your uh, your age. It doesn't matter the, the parties you're interested in, be it uh, concerns on the national level or on the local level, you need to get out and vote. So says everybody. I'm going to say it too. Uh, get represented. Get yourself represented. Let's uh, start there. We will. We will. We will. We will. We will. We will. We will be counted. We will matter. We will stand our ground. We will be brave. 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 We will be heard. Heard. We will. We will. We will. We will organize. We will vote. 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 We will vote because we matter. Because you matter. We will vote because we make a difference. We will vote. We will. We will. Well, if that little montage of celebrities has inspired you to vote, but you're still not sure who to vote for, uh, time to head on back to brattlebrotv.org where there's such a bevy of uh, coverage on local elections, um, including things like the state auditor race, something uh, that I did not know a lot about before the uh, candidacy season started. Um, we've got uh, Senator Vince Aluzzi, who's going to step down from the Senate uh, and take a uh, try, anyway, and take on the role of Vermont State Auditor. He's running against uh, Doug Hoffer, the Democratic candidate. Um, they've been interviewed in various forms by various members of various different programs here on BCTV. Let's take a look. I've been in the Senate for 32 years, so no one can suggest that I use positions as stepping stones. <laughs> uh, I've uh, enjoyed the Senate, uh, but at you know after a th almost a third of a century, I just thought it would be time to give others an opportunity and to put my experience and talents to use from a different perspective. So um, I don't have any goal other than to be elected and do the job. 
public sector auditors should do more than just crunch the numbers and to track the money. Taxpayers uh, have a right to know and need to know whether, in fact, the programs created by the legislature are achieving the goals intended mm -hmm. by the legislature. We'll jump into the newsroom here and talk about, yes, that graphic graphic over my shoulder, Project In Tax Out at uh, Saturday's representative town meeting, special representative town meeting held at Academy School. Um, Brattleboro town representatives um, came out in support of a $14 million police fire station rebuild project. Um, however, they did not support a proposed 1% option tax that would have alleviated the burden generated by that cost uh, on the property tax payers and of course inadvertently on uh, renters in town as well. Um, at the meeting, Select Board Chair Dick DeGray talked about uh, the balance between the option tax and the property tax. Now if this was funded fully by this 1%, it's not. It's not. This is a shared expense. The taxpayers are not escaping this. I'm a consumer. I'm still going to go down to Brown and Roberts when I have to fix my leaky faucet or whatever I buy down there. Just another example of one of the many programs that you can watch on PCTV, both on our channel and uh, at your leisure uh, with our video on demand at brattleborotv.org. Just a few things before we wrap, including checking in with the high school's morning news advisory program to talk about the weather. Well, first for today, it will be mostly cloudy with a high of 69 and a low of 47. There will be a 10% chance of rain. Hurricane Sandy is currently coming up the coast, and as a result, you should probably, just as a precaution, um, bring in any items that could be blown away by high winds, which are said to be a threat. You can also, as another precaution, go to the store and buy some water and flashlights for supplies. Back to the desk. Back to the desk. In this case, our desk, BUHS TV shows live weekday mornings at uh, 10 a.m., excluding Wednesdays, when they take a well-deserved break, and we rebroadcast it following uh, this here, 545 Live, at 6 p.m. All right, uh, that's just about all I've got for today. I'll let you go out and enjoy the weekend. Remember, uh, get prepared for this upcoming storm and keep abreast of uh, all the latest information on how to stay safe and how to utilize uh, the benefits of this highly prepared, highly efficient highly professional uh, municipal inner workings here in Brattleboro. That's all at brattleboro.org where they continue to send out helpful press releases. You can also listen on WTSA-FM, uh, who is their emergency response uh, media partner. In uh, addition, uh, head to brattleboro.tv.org to find out uh, all about this upcoming election, all the programming you can watch uh, at your leisure on our video on demand. All right, that's full it, everybody. I better stop talking. I'm starting to uh, slow down, and we all know how important it is to talk fast. Uh, thanks to our content specialists, uh, Joe Bushy, my often co-captain, and Maria Dominguez, who worked very hard to get some of this skate park footage uh, for us, and to Vlasta Papelka, who helped arrange all our interviews, last-minute interviews today. Night, everybody. You know, as, as silly as it may sound, we've even had people using uh, barbecue grills with wood inside their house uh, for light and heat. You know, again, common sense comes into play here.